a very good morning to all today we are moving on to a new chapter that is chapter number 6 and name of the chapter is addition and subtraction up to 20 and we have learned addition and subtraction right to you all have learned to add two numbers then we learned about subtraction and we learned to subtract numbers so today in this chapter we will be doing both so we'll be learning about both addition and subtraction up to number 20 so we you all learned about ones and tens right so you, do you all remember about ones and tens then let's revise it once more what about these one digit numbers do you all remember which are the one digit numbers numbers from 0 to 9 numbers from 0 to 9 are one digit numbers what about numbers from 10 numbers from 10 to 99 they are two digit numbers then we learned all numbers have their own place values right then we always calculate place value from its ones place that is from right and all these one digit numbers comes in which place ones place let's see what about number 1 So one comes in which place? We have ones and we have tens, and we calculate numbers from. We always count numbers from ones place. So one is a one-digit number. So one comes in which place? Ones place. And what about number two? Two is also a one-digit number, and we calculate place value always from ones place. So two comes in which place? Ones place. What about three? Three is also a one digit number and it comes in ones place all one digit numbers comes in ones place then what about number 10 10 number 10 here there are two digits so zero comes in which place zero comes in zero comes in ones place and what about one one comes in tens place and another number let's take 12 so this is also a two digit number and we calculate place value from its ones place so two comes in which place in ones place and what about one it comes in tens place now let's do addition that is adding two numbers by grouping by 10 okay So here you can see stars. So what are we going to do is we are going to count the number of stars and then we'll make a group of 10. Okay, let's see how many stars are there. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. So how many stars are there? There are total 11 stars. So what are we going to do first? First we'll make a group of 10. So first we are going to make a group of 10. So this is a group of ten. In one group, how many stars are there? There are ten stars. What about this star? Only one star is left. Can we make a group with one star? No, there is only one star left. So one group of ten stars. So how can we write that? We can write it as one ten. One group of ten stars. That is one ten. And How many stars are left? One star. That is one ones. So one ten means ten plus one ones means one. So what is ten plus one? Ten plus one equal eleven. Total of eleven stars here. So what about ten? Ten is a two-digit number. So zero comes in which place? Zero comes in ones place, and one comes in tens place plus we are going to add 1 so 1 is a one digit number and it comes in which place ones place so we are going to add these numbers together 10 plus 1 so what is 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 equal 1 then we'll write this 1 next to this 1 so the answer is 11 so how many stars do you have in total we have 11 stars in total Let's see one more example. Again, you can see some stars here. 
What you have to do first, we are going to make a group of 10. Before that, let's count how many stars are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So how many stars are there? There are 13 stars. First, what you have to do? You have to make a group of 10. So let's make a group of 10. That means in one group, how many stars? In one group, there are 10 stars. So in one group, 10 stars. So how many stars are left? 1, 2, 3. There are 3 stars left. We, can, we cannot make a group with 3 stars. So one group of 10 stars, how can we write it? We can write it as 1, 10. And how many stars are left? 3 stars of 1 each. So let's write here 3 ones. So what is 1, 10? 1, 10 means 10. Right. Plus 3 ones means 3. So we have to add what is 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3 equal 13. Coming to this, 1's place, 10's place. So 10, 10 is a 2 digit number. So 0 comes in which place? 1's place. So we'll write 0 in 1's place. What about 1? 1 comes in which place? 10's place. So we'll write 1 in 10's place. Plus 3. 3 is a 1 digit number. And 3 comes in which place? 1's place. Then we'll add these numbers together. What is 0 plus 3? 0 plus 3 equal 3. And we'll take this 1 and we'll write this one near to 3. Then we'll get the answer as 13. So how many stars are there in total? There are 13 stars in total. You can take page number 82 in your textbook. And the first exercise. Here you can see a tortoise. And this tortoise want to reach at its finishing point. So what we have to do? We have to help this tortoise. How can we help this tortoise? We can help this tortoise by solving this problem and helping this tortoise to reach at its finishing point. So what is the symbol? This is addition. We are going to add these numbers. And another thing is, when you add these numbers, sometimes the answer you will get it as 10. So the answer you get as 10, what do you have to do? You have to color that box brown. Okay, so let's start with the first sum. The first question, 2 plus 8. So you have to add 8 to 2. So when you add 2 plus 8, what do you get? You can draw sticks to represent each numbers. And you can add them together. So what answer do you get? 2 plus 8, that is 10. So let's write here 10. So when we get an answer as 10, what do you have to do? You have to color that square. This is a square box. And you have to color that square box brown. So you have to color it brown. Let's move on to the next one. 5 plus 5. What is 5 plus 5? 5 plus 5 equal 10. So again we got the answer as 10. We have to color this square again brown. The next one. 5 plus 4. What is 5 plus 4? 9. So 9. So the answer is 9. So we no need of coloring the square brown. Only for answers that we get 10, we need to color it. And what about 6 plus 2? When we add 6 to 2, what answer do we get? 8. Right. Then 9 plus 0. When you add 0 to any number, what answer do we get? We get the same number. So the answer is 9. So what about this problems? Can you solve it by yourself? You can just pause the video now, solve these sums, then we'll discuss the answers. So, hope you have done. So, let's see the answers. So, what about this? 4 plus 0. What is 4 plus 0? When you add 0 to a number, what answer do you get? You get the same number. So, what is 4 plus 0? 4 plus 0 equals 4. So, the answer is 4. The next one, what is the answer? 3 plus 4. What is 3 plus 4? 7. The answer is 7. What is the next one? What is the next answer? 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4? 10. So you got the answer as 10 and you have to color the square brown. And the next one? 3 plus 7. 
So what is 3 plus 7? What is the answer? Answer is 10. And again you got the answer as 10 and you have to color the square brown. What about the next one? 9 plus 1. When you add 1 to a number, you get the next number. The answer is the next number. So what is 9 plus 1? 10. So again you got the answer as 10 and you have to color the square brown. The next one. 4 plus 2. What is the answer? 6. So 4 plus 2 equal 6. Coming to the next one. 2 plus 4. So what is 2 plus 4? Did you find anything similar with these numbers? 4 plus 2 and 2 plus 4. In addition, we learnt that even if you change the order of numbers, you get the same answer. So here, in the place of 4, it is 2 and in the place of 2, it is 4. So just change the order of numbers. So what, the, what answer do we get? We get the same answer. So what is 2 plus 4? So 2 plus 4 equal 6. Coming to the next one. 5 plus 3. So what is 5 plus 3? What answer do you get? It is 8. So you can write the answer as 8. The next one. 6 plus 0. When you add 0 to a number, you get the same number. So what is 6 plus 0? 6. Then 8 plus 1. So what is 8 plus 1? 8 plus 1 equal 9. Then 10 plus 0. 10 plus 0 equal 10. And you have to color this box brown. Why? Because we got the answer 10. Coming to the next one. Here also we are going to solve these problems. So what sign is this? What symbol is this? This is subtraction. Subtraction means taking away. And we are going to solve these problems. And for each answer, there is a letter in the clue box. And you have to write that letter under the box. So let's start with the first one. 6 minus 3. So let's start with the second one. The first one is already done. So let's do the second one. 6 minus 3. So to make it more easier, you can draw 6 sticks and cut 3 sticks from that. So what answer do you get? You get 3. Right. So the answer is 3. And you have to look for the answer in the clue box. Which letter is for the answer? So 3. So that is P. Letter P. So let's write P here. Okay. The next one. 9 minus 2. Again you can draw 9 sticks. Then cut 2 sticks from that. So what answer do you get? Answer is 7. So what is the, le what is the letter for 7? It is O. So let's write O here. Then, next one, 7 minus 1. This is very easy. So, we learned that when you subtract 1 from any number, we get the number just before. The answer is just before. So, what is the answer do you get? 7 minus 1, 6. So, here which letter is for 6? N. Let's write N here. The next one, 5 minus 4. What is 5 minus 4? Again, you can draw 5 sticks and cut 4 sticks. What is the answer do you get? 1. So, the letter for 1 is G. Then the last one, 8 minus 3. You have to take away 3 from 8. So, what answer do you get? The answer is 5. So, which letter is for 5? E. So, let's write E here. So we have solved all the sums. So there is a question also. You have to find solve and match each answer with a letter in the clue box to know what I am. So in the first one, it is S. Okay. In the second one, it is P. Then the third letter is O. Then the fourth letter is N. And the fifth letter is G. And the sixth letter is E. And how do we read that together? We get a word called sponge. And the word is sponge. S-P-O-N-G-E. And the word is sponge. Moving on to the next exercise. Page number 83. So we have to group them. Group them by 10. And you have to answer these questions. So the one is already done. So let's move on to the second one. 
and what you have to do you have to count these number of stars and you have to make a group of 10 so first let's make a group of 10 10 stars so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so let's make a group of 10 stars so in this group how many stars are there 10 stars so how many stars are left here let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 stars are left here so one group of 10 stars are there so let's write here 1 10 that means one group of 10 stars then how many stars are left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 stars of 1 each so let's write here 7 so 1 10 and 7 1 so 1 10 means 10 plus 7 ones means 7 so what is 10 plus 7 10 plus 7 equal 17 so there so there are total 17 stars so 10 so 0 comes in which place in ones place and what about 1 1 comes in which place in tens place and what about 7 7 is a one digit number and 7 comes in which place ones place so we have to add these numbers together what is 0 plus 7 0 plus 7 equal 7 and you have to write this number 1 near to 7 so the answer is 17 so total how many stars are there there are total 17 stars coming to the next one this also we have to do in the same way what you have to do first you have to make a group of 10 so let's make a group of 10 stars so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we are making a group of 10 stars so how many stars are left 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 stars are left so one group of how many stars 10 stars so let's write 1 one group of 10 1 10 plus how many stars are there left 1 2 3 4 5 5 stars of 1 each so let's write here 5 ones so 1 10 plus 5 ones what is the answer 1 10 means 10 plus 5 ones means 5 so what is 10 plus 5 10 plus 5 equal 15 and 10 10 is a two digit number and 0 comes in which place ones place 1 comes in tens place what about 5 5 comes in which place 5 is a one digit number and it comes in which place ones place so we are going to add this together 0 plus 5 equal 5 and you write down 1 near to 5 so it becomes 15 so how many stars are there in total there are 15 stars in total so likewise let's do the next one so this one you can do it pause the video write the answers then we'll see the answers so hope you have done so let's see what do you have to do first first you have to make a group of 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we are going to make a group of 10 so how many are remaining 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 stars are remaining so one group of 10 stars plus 9 stars of 1 each so 1 10 plus 9 ones so 1 10 means 10 plus 9 ones 9 so 10 plus 9 what is 10 plus 9 you have to add these numbers together so what is 10 plus 9 10 plus 9 equal 19 and we are going to add them here so 0 comes in which place 1's place 1 comes in which place 10's place then what about 9 9 is a one digit number and we always calculate place value from 1's place so 9 comes in which place 1's place you have to add them together 0 plus 9 what is 0 plus 9 0 plus 9 equal 9 and you have to write down this one near to 9 so it becomes 19 so how many stars are there in total 19 stars so the answer is 19 so I hope you understood so let's meet in the next class with a new topic till then thank you